think we have the opportunity of celebrating another faculty member, Dr. Jonathan Gates, in another reading in the Faculty Poet Series. <clears throat> I have the uh, distinct honor of being able to introduce to you Dr. Gates. <clears throat> Jonathan Gates is a professor of English here at NIAC and is director of the Honors Program. He specializes in American drama, and especially in the work of Tennessee Williams. He has taught a number of courses here at NIAC over the years, too many to mention, <clears throat> but it goes without saying that he is a talented professor who has touched the lives of countless students in his classrooms, me being one of them. <clears throat> As the head of the English department, <laughs> Every time I go to an event, you always see. <laughs> and I love you for that. <laughs> As the head of the English department, I've witnessed Jonathan's ability to navigate the various personalities and approaches to teaching writing, literature, and writing with the skill of a craftsman. I've always been impressed with Jonathan's diplomatic approach in meetings. But more importantly, I've been inspired by his respect for the written word. This attention to, to his craft is exemplified well in the fact that three of his poems were selected for publication in the 2009 Shangam Review. And one of those poems, August Storm on Graham Lake, was selected by editors for the 20th anniversary edition of that review just a few months later. In accordance with tonight's themes, uh, Summer Shorts, poems inspired by both Summertime and Maine, among other themes, I'd like to read a poem to you as a type of prayer, hymn, or meditation, if you will. The poem is by Donald Junkins. It's about Maine. It's called Approaches to Blue Hill Bay, chart number 13313. Late June, walking the deer runs to Goose Pond after supper, summer begins. Sidestepping storm blown poplars, dry weeding the slash from the pulpers camps ten years ago, keeping the imaginary straight line from Duck Island Light to the north side of Goose Pond Mountain in our mind's eyes, poking our fish poles through the young hackmatack, straight arms, trying to keep from snagging the green fur. The purple stars in the school old desk landscape of the nautical chart, yellow, blue. The island woods are yellow, the evening sun sprays through from the other side of the evergreens, wood colors, our first grade pegs arranging. We push for the first view of the marsh edge shore, spruce stump sticks edging deep water trout, never minding the cold. We know where we are, a mile straight in on the yellow. We lose our way. My son climbs a blue spruce to see where we've been. The two sisters, Long Island Plantation. On the left, the Baptist Church in the Atlantic. We head into the sun. Late June, walking the deer runs to Goose Pond after supper. Summer begins suddenly. We can hear the crane of gulls. Beyond the trees, they are landing, taking off, landing. Salt white, fresh blue. It is all prearranged. In a minute now, we will see the pond. Nothing has changed. Please welcome with me, Dr. B. <laughs> 